how cute is this little elephant right here? And today we are going to make this a custom one of a kind birthday gift for a little girl that was just born. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this little elephant. This came from Amazon and I will link it down below if you are interested in using the same one. They also have a gray version if you have um, a little boy that you wanna do a little gift for. But this little stuffed animal is about nine inches tall, so she's not very big. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the burst stats right here on the ears in heat transfer vinyl. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump into design space to show you how I create that design. What you wanna do once you jump into design space is you wanna decide what fonts that you want to use on your elephant ears. So when I design mine, typically what I do is I will use one font for one ear and on the other font for the dates and the other stats, I just use a basic, um, font here. So for this particular font, for the cursive E and for the name Emerson, I use the font Birds of Paradise. So I will go ahead and show you what I did. So I just went ahead and took the Birds of Font Paradise and for the ears, I um, typically make them about two inches wide by about two and a half inches tall. So I do unlock the E or whatever letter that you're using in this case, just to go ahead and make it to the size that I want. Then I type the name on top of it and this way I can layer it as well. And I do make sure that I put it in a different color in Cricut because that's going to allow it to cut off in a different color heat transfer vinyl so that they can layer and just really pop against each other. So moving on to the stats here, these are just basic hearts from the shapes here. But to create these little lines that you see, what I did is I went to shapes, I grabbed a square and then I hit unlock. From the unlock, I went ahead and just stretched it out to the size that I wanted. And then I go ahead and copy it and paste. And then I go ahead and just twist it with the rotating arrow up here. Now you do want to, you know, size it down, make sure it's whatever size that you're looking for. Oops, there we go. But basically, once you get it to where you want it, grab both of them and you want to hit weld over here on the bottom right. And this is going to allow it to move and to cut as one piece without showing any cut marks. So I just did that and then basically put it and shrunk it down to where I needed it. And that is how I got that. So from this screen, I'm gonna go ahead and cut off all of this information and then we'll jump over to adding it to our elephant ears. Now that I have it all uh, print, cut out and weeded, I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna take my base letter so I'm gonna take the E, just kind of put it where I need to. Now, it is important to note uh, when you're working with these stuffed animals that they are very heat sensitive. So you wanna be very careful with that. Now I'm gonna be using my Cricut Easy Press Mini simply because um, I'm working in a smaller, tighter space. So if you don't have one of those, this is one of those opportunities that I would recommend even using your home iron over a heat press simply because it's so heat sensitive and it is such a small area to work with. You could easily burn it. Because I'm gonna be layering her name on top of this, I'm just gonna go down over this very quickly. I just want it to stick. I don't wanna go ahead and complete the press just yet. Okay, so as you can see, it's sticking on here. It's not fully adhered just yet. Okay, so now I'm going to take her name that I cut out in white and I'm going to layer this. I'm just going to put it to where I think it looks pretty. And what I'm going to do is I'm also going to grab a Teflon sheet here because I don't want my actual heat press to come in contact with the um, heat transfer vinyl that I've already pressed. That will uh, melted, it won't be good. So I'm gonna grab some Teflon and then we will go from there. Okay, this gives you more, but we don't wanna burn it. That would not be good. Oops. Okay, see like that corner there isn't quite sticking and that's because of where it bends, that's trickier. There we go. Oops. 
Alrighty. Now I'm going to take it over here and I'm going to press over it one more time just to make sure since I have these curves and all that we have it all good and adhered. Again, don't hold it down there long. Um, but this is Emerson. This is her name on her left ear. So let's go ahead and move on to her birth stats. Okay. So we'll go ahead and do this. Pull it up very gently in case something didn't stick. Because as I said, we're doing it very short periods of time. It's very possible that something might need a little extra longer to press. So now I'm going to take the hearts that I cut out in pink. And I'm just going to place it here. Perfect. And one more press. And here she is. Here is our birth stats elephant customized and it makes a beautiful, wonderful little birthday gift for the newborn. So if you guys found this video helpful, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and like it. If you have any comments, drop them down below and I'm happy to help.